So what we've been trying to do is roll out as many use cases through our Gcash app uh, which are relevant in people's daily lives. So anything from chopping up a prepaid mobile connection to paying bills, sending money peer-to-peer, -peer, scanning QR codes at the 25,000 merchants that we've signed up over the last year, making online payments. But we've also made it easier to become a customer. So to your point around access, what we do is we make ourselves accessible even without cellular data, and that helps because we are part of a telco. We've made ourselves accessible through, G through Messenger. Uh, and what we've done is we have made it so easy to do a liveness check through a facial recognition tool so that we can actually fulfill our identity requirements as we are central bank regulated. But beyond that, it's also getting cash into the wallet so that people can pay. And when you don't have significant banking penetration, that's where we've tapped into income sources or remittance proceeds in to get cash into the wallet. We also tie up with a bunch of retail outlets, anything from a 7-Eleven to an, uh, a big pawn shop chain or remittance centers, anywhere where people go for traditional financial services so that they can be part of this revolution of cashless payments. Now, how many people are using your digital services and the projected growth that you expect? Sure. So we have about 11 million registered users, and we have grown our active user base three times in the last 12 months. So this is rapidly accelerating. Now, as you continue to grow, you're inviting other uh, patrons to join in your digital society. Uh, you've teamed up with Lazada. This is the online mall uh, to, for payments. Do you anticipate other partnerships similar to that? Yes, we are very open, and we work with the likes of Facebook. We work with Lazada. We work with the 7-Elevens. We work with the big remittance companies. And ultimately, our joint venture is a partnership between Globe Telecom and Ayala Corporation in the Philippines and Ant Financial. And Alipay has brought its own set of partnerships globally across the different wallets that they're present in in Asia, but also with merchant partnerships. Now, I know that uh, your partner you just mentioned with that of Ant Financial, uh, but uh, recently Tencent also entered the, entered the picture with a uh, partnership with PLDT. How are, how, with these two big Chinese rivals, how is that changing the landscape in the Philippines? For us, it was a significant move to partner with Ant. Uh, what they bring is a platform at significant scale. Uh, the population of the country is 100 million. The number of active users on the Ant financial platform across its international partners is approaching a billion. So the economies of scale you get are, are phenomenal. Also, their risk management expertise and expertise in other areas, given the significant experience that they've had in payments, adds to us. Uh, with regards to the other entity also investing, I think it's a good thing for the market because there's such a significant gap that it's good that more than one player is educating the market because this is really the time for adoption. Uh, so we're quite excited about the next few months and years. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.